Hi, my name is Ming. I'm from Richmond Maths Tutors. Uh, we are a husband and wife team helping children with their maths from KS1, KS2, 7 pluses, 11 pluses, KS3, GCSEs, and all the way up to A-level maths. And today we're going to do a short video on the top 10 state schools in the UK as ranked by the Times newspaper. And that's taken from their Parent Power magazine, published in November 2020. And before we go into the list itself, just a quick explanation of how they do their rankings. Um, on the far right column, you will see a GCSE rank, which is based on the number of students who score an, uh, a 9, 8 or a 7. Then you have an A-level rank, which is based on the percentage of students who attain an A star, A or B at A-level. Then you have some more data regarding students who score an A star and A, and percentage of students who score an A star. And then they combine the GCSE rank with the A-level rank to give an overall ranking, and then source some data comparing them to last year's position. So in the 10th position, you'll see King Edward uh, the Sixth Grammar School in Chelmsford. Their GCSE rank is number 12, and their A-level rank is number 13. In the ninth position is Colchester Royal Grammar School. Their GCSE rank is 20, and their A-level rank is number nine. Old Tremont Grammar School for Girls is in eighth position with a GCSE rank 21, and A-level's position number eight. Uh, number seven is Reading School. Their GCSE rank is number four, and their A-level's is number 10. In sixth position is St. Olave's uh, grammar School in Orchids in Kent. Their GCSE rank is number eight and their A-level is ranked number five. In the fifth position this year is Tiffin Girls uh, in Kingston. Um, their GCSE rank is number two and A-level is ranked number seven. Um, I'm slightly partial towards Tiffin Girls School um, because I've worked there occasionally and um, also my nieces go there. In the fourth position is uh, Pates Grammar School in Cheltenham. Their GCSE rank is number 10, and their A-level rank is number two. And then now to the top three. In the third position is Henrietta Barnett School in North London. Uh, their GCSE rank is number one. Their A-level rank is number six. And uh, Henrietta um, on their websites have said that over 3,000 students apply for just 100 places. And their first round exams are based on verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, English only, so no maths. They then standardize that mark, rank them, and then invite the top 300 back for the second round, which is maths and English. Um, in the second position is Wilson School in Wellington. Um, Wilson's is part of the Sutton uh, Grammar School Consortium. Um, so you only need to sit one exam for the entire Sutton Grammar of Schools. And their GCSE rank this year is number six, and their A-level rank is number three. Um, a couple of famous alumni from Wilson's are Jack Elliott, the footballer. And for those of you who know me, um, they know that I'm a big comic book fan. Um, Simon Furman is a famous comic book writer, uh, and he's done a lot of work in the Transformers comics. And then I think one of the most famous uh, Wilson's uh, alumni is Sir Michael Caine. Um, but um, he is not very favorable on the school, according to his biography. And in the first position is Queen Elizabeth School in Barnet. Their GCSE rank is number five, and their A-level rank is number one. A uh, famous alumni from Queen Elizabeth is uh, Jay Shetty, the YouTuber, um, Robert Rinder of Judge Rinder fame, and also one of their um, ex-Latin uh, teachers in the early 70s, um, actually later on became the head of Eton. Um, so a lot of famous people from there. Uh, and that's it for the top three, and uh, thank you very much.